All right, let's take a derivative. Uh, this is kind of a complicated looking function here. e to the 3x multiplied by the natural log of 5x plus 7. So to accomplish this and differentiate it, to find its derivative, we have two things multiplied together. So we're definitely going to have to use the product rule along the way. To write out the product rule, I'm going to treat this first e to the 3x as though it's our f function, and the natural log as though it's our g function. So this derivative is going to be given by, as you can see the product rule on the right hand side, f prime times g plus f times g prime. All right, but it's not quite that easy, right? Our function f, the e to the 3x that I'm treating it as, let's do a little bit of side work to see if we can come up with exactly what that derivative is going to be. In this case, we have 3x is inside the e to the x function. So we're going to actually have to use the chain rule on this one. So I'm going to do a little bit of side work. That's what's down below there. So the chain rule says we take the derivative of the outer function, like e to a power, is just going to be e to that, in this case, same power that we bring along. Then we multiply that by the derivative of the inner function, the 3x on this, in this case. So the derivative of 3x is just going to be 3 because that's a linear function. All right, that can be filled in for the derivative of e to the 3x, which will go right here, e to the 3x times 3. That's supposed to be multiplied by our g function, so natural log of 5x plus 7, plus we're going to uh, fill in for f, which is e to the 3x, multiplied by the derivative of g, so that natural log. Again, down below we have a function within another function, so we first focus on the outer function, the natural log part. Its derivative is normally just 1 over x because it's normally just x on the inside, but in this case it's going to be 1 over and we keep the inner function the same. But then we multiply that by the derivative of the inner function. All right, The inner function this time is the 5x plus 7. Its derivative is just going to be 5. All right, we are allowed to put that 5 up in the numerator if we want to. And no, those 5's will not simplify down. And that's a pretty good answer as far as the derivative of that original function. So just kind of take it one piece at a time. I know we had to use the chain rule a few times. You may not be as comfortable with the natural log and the e to the x and their derivatives. But write it out, make it one step at a time, and you'll get through these. It takes a lot of practice. Good luck.